family in Christ. Thank God for another day, another time when we could devote in prayer, the word and meditation, giving God an opportunity to refresh us, to revive us, even as we track through these dangerous times and seasons that we're living in. And Psalm 23 verse 4 reminds us of who God is to us. That's where our meditation comes from today. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The word of God to the people of God. The psalmist reminds us that we are powered by the presence of God. It is His presence that gives us overcoming power. We need not to fear once we are in the presence of God. The presence of God do not stop the presence of evil in this world. Evil is everywhere. And if we are not guarded, it can live in our hearts. But what the presence of God does is cause us not to fear evil, not to allow evil to control us, not to allow evil to dominate us, but rather honor God because He is with us. His rod and staff will comfort us. The rod of God is the authority of God. It is the word of God. It is his presence, the presence of the Holy Spirit with precision purpose. And that is to protect and guide us as we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yes, death is only a shadow for the believers. One day we are going to see the funeral of death because it is going to be swallowed up in victory. It will have no sting. It will have no power and we'll reside over its own funeral. And so we honor God today as we live in the presence of God, knowing that it powers us to overcome evil that is present all around us. Father, we thank you for the authority of your word, for your presence. For in the presence of God, there's fullness of joy. And that you're right on their pleasures forevermore. We honor you that today we can live in victory. Despite evil all around us, wickedness in every form and fashion, but we fear no evil for you are with us. Thank you that we stand on your authority on your presence and your authority to rule, to govern, and to indeed overcome. We bless you for those who lead the nations, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament. We pray the blessings of God upon them, that they will acknowledge you in all their ways. We pray for the medical professionals in this pandemic as they struggle to help, to produce, yes, to cause better to come. But let them know that God is, hallelujah. And I pray the blessings of God upon them. Touch leaders everywhere, particularly those of us in the body of Christ, that we may lead with love and care and concern in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And thank you for the peace of Jerusalem, for families everywhere. Let your name be exalted as we seek you today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's walk today. Even though there's death and evil around us, we are powered by the presence of God. Have a great day in the Lord.